Today I'm going to show you how to make cumulative relative frequency plots, also known as ogives, on a TI-84 calculator. So here's my data set. I, I went out to the yard and I collected uh, 12 acorns. Turns out they're fairly consistent in length. Here are the lengths of the 12 acorns I found in millimeters. Um, now, first, I want to talk about what ogives are and how we would make one by hand. Um, our smallest acorn is 35. So at 35, we have one acorn. Our second smallest acorn is 36. At 36, we have one acorn. So right now, I'm making a table. This is frequency, and this is um, length. We're going to make a little small table here. Uh, there are one, two, three acorns that are 37. Um, 38 looks like just one. 39, another one. All right, I'll speed this part up. All right, now we have all of our frequencies for the different lengths we observed. Now let's talk about relative frequency. Relative to the 12 acorns we collected, how many were 35 millimeters in length? It turns out 1 12th of them. Um, how many of them were 37? Well, 3 twelfths, so 1 4th of them uh, once we reduce it. How many were 40? Well, 2 over 12 would be 1 6th of them. So the most frequent uh, acorn length observed was 37. A quarter of our acorns observed were 37. We're going to take these relative frequencies, and they're going to help us create our actual ogive. So I'm going to make one by hand first. I've set my axes up. I have my x-axis is length in millimeters. And then here is cumulative relative frequency. So. How many acorns were zero or less in length? None. I'm going to go ahead and put a dot there. Now, when we get to 35, one acorn or one twelfth of my acorns, which it turns out one twelfth is about eight and a third repeating percent. Um, I, I made my y-axis have exactly 12 tick marks, so it's going to make this easy. At 35, one twelfth of my axis going up to one um, one twelfth of my acorns were 35 or less. Uh, at 36, we have one acorn. So I'm going to go up another 12th. At 37, we have three acorns. So I'm going to go up uh, one, two, three. So here's what it looks like so far. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm adding each of these tick marks. By the time I get to 37, I should be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I should be 5 units up, which I am. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's because, well, let me do, let me put the 38 in there. At 38, let's go up one more. Here's what this is saying. At 38, I'm saying 50% of my acorns, because we're at 0.5, were 38 millimeters or less. So that's what an ogive tells you. The x-axis tells you a particular length. You can look up a length on the x-axis. And the y-coordinate is going to tell you what percent of acorns were that value or lower in length. So I'm going to speed up the next part as I finish my ogive here. Now, slowing down again, there was no value at 41. So when I go to 41, there was no additional cumulative relative frequency achieved. So I'm just going to draw a flat line because we we didn't have any acorns that were 41. Nothing happened. But at 42, we have another acorn. So I'm going to continue going up. All right, when we get to 44, we're at 1. And that's because 100% of the acorns observed were 44 millimeters or less in length. Now let's talk about how to do this on a TI-84 calculator. All right. The first step is to input the data. To input the data, and let me zoom in a little bit better here. All right. The first step is I'm going to input all of the lengths observed and their frequencies. 
So to do that, I'm going to press the stat button and the first option is edit. So when I press enter, I'm going to type in all the different lanes here, including the ones not observed, like the 41. So I went all the way up to 44. Next, I'm going to type in the frequencies. So there was one acorn that was 35, one that was 36, there was 337. All right, these numbers right here add to 12 since they represent the 12 acorns we saw. Now's where it gets fun. We're going to push the up button, highlight list three, and we're going to say take list two. So I'm going to press second and the number two. So now it says list two right here. And I'm going to have that multiply it by 1 12th. And what that's going to do is every value here that has a one, it's going to put a 1 12th in this column. This one that has a three, it should do three times 1 12th. So we should observe a 0.25 there. All right. What list three is representing is the relative frequency. So right here at 40, we can see 16.6 repeating of our acorns were 40 millimeters in size. Okay. Now we need the cumulative frequency. So to do this, you're going to have to press second and then go down here to where zero is and you can reach the catalog function. So I'm going to push that, which is what it looks like. If you press the letter D, the green D, which is this button right here, below math, it jumps down to D in the catalog. And if I push up, the first option here is cumulative sum. When I press enter, it's going to make list four the cumulative sum of, and I'm going to press second three, cumulative sum of list three. All right. What this is doing is it's taking every value from list three, and as it goes down row by row, it adds every value above it. So by the time you get to the last row, it's a one because 100 percent of this, this data, the relative frequencies add up to one. By the time you get to 41, 75 percent of the acorns were 41 millimeters or less. So these are the cumulative sums. These are the y coordinates of the ogive, the cumulative relative frequency plot. So now we're ready to make our ogive. If you press second and y equals to get to the stat plot menu, we can press enter, turn stat plot one on, and choose this second option with the lines. We're going to use list one and list four. I like to use this really last option here. You can change the color if you want. Now, before I press graph, I'm going to press zoom and go down to zoom nine, which is zoom stat. Here we go. This is our ogive. See it. It matches the uh, the one we created by hand. And a really neat thing you can do with these ogives is if you press the trace button, which is right here. As you scroll along with the arrows, it will tell you things like right here. It says at 42, our y coordinate is 0.83 repeating. So what that means is um, 83 and a third percent of our acorns were 42 millimeters or less. And if we get all the way to the 44, this is saying 100 percent of our acorns are 44 milliliters or less millimeters or less. Sorry. All right, that's how you make an ogive on a TI-84.